I appreciate you joining me today. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to be thinking about Noah and building the ark. And today's daily praise, the hymn that is going to accompany our passage is the invitation hymn, Ark the Gentle Voice. Hark the gentle voice of Jesus, fall tenderly upon your ear. Sweet his cry of love and pity calleth, turn and listen, stay and hear. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, lean upon your dear Lord's breast. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, come and I will give you rest. Wonderful Him. Now let's look at the passage concerning Noah. In Genesis chapter 6 at verse 13, God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make rooms in the ark, and cover it inside and outside with pitch, and this is how you shall make it. And he goes on and he gives the directions. The hymn itself is taken, of course, from a passage, and, and the passage is in Genesis, or pardon me, in Matthew, in Matthew chapter eleven, at verse twenty-eight, where the Lord says, "Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls." For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. To think about Noah, and to, to sort of tie the two passages together, so to speak, and let's put the other, the, the Noah passage itself, back in front of us. To think about Noah. There was work to do. There was work to do. And yes, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. But that does not mean there was not work to do. And when Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor, he makes a promise. We'll talk about the promise here in a second. But at the same time, he says, all, Come to me, all you who labor. Take my yoke upon you. Do you see that there's, there's work to do? There's still work to do. And that Noah, even as he found grace, there's work to do. Now, the wonderful thing about that, that work is that the directions were given, and this is how you shall make it. When we come to the Lord and we take his yoke upon us, and he says, learn from me, it is a wonderful thing that there are directions given that we listen, that we hear, and we heed the gentle voice of our Lord and Savior. And as he says, take my yoke upon you, learn from me, I am gentle and lowly in heart. And it's a wonderful thing that there's work, but we are not left to figure it out, so to speak. Directions are given, and we follow the directions. Noah it was not up to Noah to design the ark. It was up to him to build. It was up to him to follow the Lord's directions, very simply. And the promise, when we think about the promise, the promise of the Matthew passage is the promise given to all faithful. You will, find re you will find rest for your souls. The promise given to Noah, of course, to look back in our passage, Look down a little further. As he says in verse 18, But I will establish my covenant with you. And we have this promise being given. You shall go into the ark, you, your sons, your wives, and your sons' wives. Noah did according to all that God commanded him in verse 22. 
So he did. There is a promise. There is a covenant. Destruction was coming, but Noah would not be destroyed. And so we think about coming to the Lord, learning from Him, taking His yoke upon us, obeying Him, according to His directions. And we have the promise. We will find rest for our soul. And what a wonderful thing that is. That the world and its rat race. Let's put it another way. My question, as we think about applications in the first century, when Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. We think about what the Pharisees were doing. We think about what those who were not following the Lord were burdening people with, and the burdens of man-made religion, and the burdens of man-made tradition, and the burdens of doing things man's ways that wasn't working. And the Lord says, come to me. The Lord doesn't say religion is altogether bad. He doesn't say that. No, he says, come to me, learn from me, take my yoke upon you, you'll find rest for your souls. That's the promise. I appreciate you. Appreciate you following along. Thank you once again, Brother Lee Elkins, for that song. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.